And you all know what I'm talking about. So there's a lot of talk out there about, you know, uh, VLOOKUP versus index match and all this stuff. And, you know, well, my client's not going to be able to do a VLOOKUP on their own, blah, blah, blah. And I'm saying, hey, you can have it both ways. You don't need to show them any of the sausage making process, but you can have that complexity in the background. Now, this is a no VBA solution yes. uh, for allowing the client to put in either a formula or fill in the blank. Uh, and if they want to put a formula in, they can use a drop down. Instead of having to do a VLOOKUP, they use a drop down. Let me show you what, I'm, what I mean. So I've got. Um, a, uh, an input screen here. It's just I know it doesn't look like Excel, but I've, I've I've designed a simple input form, you know, for someone who doesn't have a lot of Excel experience. So we make it very very user friendly. Uh, now they've got a they've got a build to name. They can pick you know from a list of clients. That's 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 an easy one. Uh, that's just coming from a back end table here. Okay, so we've got build to name. Now I I want my client to be able to either type in the address. Or look it up. Okay, so all of the uh, the addresses are in this table here. So we could, of course, you know, construct a V lookup to say, you know, look up my name in my table. Let me get my little arrow there, and I'm just gonna let's see, address line one. So we all know how to do that, right? But we're we're worried that our client is not going to be able to remember how to do that V lookup. So what I'm going to do here is once I've entered the VLOOKUP, uh, I'm going to make one little modification because we all know that, that that column index thing could get problematic if they start inserting columns on the table, right? So rather than hard coding that, we're going to say let's match that bad boy against our table headers. We'll do zero, right? Okay, so now I've got my, I've got my basic VLOOKUP, which in theory, would work for all of these fields, assuming I have, so if I paste formulas there, uh, I'm going to pick a different address. Please hold. Let's see. So that same, is everybody with me so far? So I've yep. basically got the exact same VLOOKUP syntax, right? But I don't want them to have to put that in every single time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a named formula. This is just like creating named ranges, but you use the formula syntax as the name definition. So what I did here is I just copy that VLOOKUP syntax, and I've done this in advance, like on the cooking shows, and I've added, na I've added a name, and I've called that name Look It Up, right? So I added that name, called it Look It Up, and, uh, and I say, yes, I want to make changes. Now, so the idea is I want my client to be able to choose from a drop-down list. So I'm going to create a little data validation here. And the key to being able to choose a formula is to use, not equals, but equals plus. That lets it know, look it up. That lets it know that it is a formula and not a list. Right, so now I can paste that same data validation to all these other cells. Right, right, and now look it up. They can either type in their own address one two three as do so lay av or oh I forgot to turn this part off. The validation, take off error alert. Right. So now I can either say Oz, do sole av, or I can say look it up. And they don't have to see the sausage behind the V lookup. See what I'm saying? So I I I don't know when I discovered this, but it was a really joyful moment <laughs> when I discovered that you can actually have a list of formulas in uh, data validation setting. The key is you just have to start with a plus sign, right? Um, another application of this, I'll show you, is um, this is a uh, this is a service desk dashboard, or an IT service provider dashboard, right? And they have a service level agreement with their client that says, hey, we're going to answer calls in less than or equal to 30 seconds. Our call aban abandonment rate is going to be less than 5%. 
Um, and then you have you know, the ability to track performance. I might want to see that metric in days or hours or minutes or seconds. So each of those are just formulas, right? I have, I have named formulas called default display, which is whatever this is, in this case seconds, but I can also display in hours, minutes, uh, or, or seconds, whatever the case may be. And those are built-in formulas, just named formulas. And Jordan's going to look at this Hungarian-esque no notation and totally get on my case. But these are all just, you know, they, could, they don't have to be VLOOKUPs. They could be index, match, whatever. Well, you so, are Hungarian, so it's different. <laughs> I am indeed. Uh, so this is, it's a great way to, you know, make a formula in the background. Now notice I use no VBA uh, that the client can just pick from a drop down. And then you can have your cake and eat it too. So you have the ability, because that was always, that was an issue for a long time. I'm like, how can I, I want to protect the, the formula, but sometimes I want them to be able to overwrite with just whatever they want. Yeah. Right, so you can you can make it easy for them to understand um, without having to see all the sauces. Okay, so that's that's formulas in drop down list. I know I went through that very fast. So if anybody would like a copy of this little template, I'd be happy to share it on uh, sure. wherever well, you, guys, you guys have it. I would like to yeah, we'll share, it, we'll share it through the blog or through our website. Okay, yeah, yeah I'll send it to you guys offline. Um, can you? Right? Can you pick another bill too? And let's let's uh, go through just an example. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to find one that has that has a fully populated address. Okay. Let's go with let's go with Ace Hardware. All right. So let's go with these. Obviously, these are these names have been changed to protect the innocent. But so okay. there you go. Uh, so now it still says Oz du Soleil Ave, but I, if I just change that to look it up, it's it's a V lookup that pulls in the address for that client. Okay. Right. Okay. Same thing for all for all of these. I can choose look it up. There's no line two address. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. All right. So I don't need that whole V lookup syn syntax. Great. Great. I like that. I like that. See. Oh man. You got more it. Sylvia. Wow. All right. You're welcome. Man. Four. All right. 